Hello YouTube, so today I will be talking about the comments uh, regarding the Steam Deck that was announced recently. So first as usual, I'll be reading the Japanese comment regarding the Steam Deck and then I'll give you guys my opinion on the same topic. So let's get right into it. Honestly, if it's just a Steam game, I don't see why we need to use a console to play. And what's with the button placement? It looks like it's very uncomfortable. This reminds me of the game year because of the colors and the balance of the console. It looks like it's pretty powerful, but this is only for now, but a few years later, it's gonna be obsolete. Even though it was announced, it's not gonna be available at launch in Japan, so I don't feel very excited for it. I think I'll be happier buying a gaming PC. They were surviving just fine by not putting their hands on releasing consoles, but I can't believe that now they're releasing a console. I don't think that Steam games are going to run very smoothly with that, uh, with that machine. And what were they thinking only adding 64 gigs? Oh, but I could buy this just to play Chrono Trigger. Now I'm doubting if I should get it or not. I think it just depends on how powerful the hardware will be. If it's going to run demanding games, I think it's cheaper than getting a laptop or gaming laptop. If it's not going to run those, uh, I think it's better to just get a gaming laptop. It looks like your the stick is going to break in a few months, so it depends on how much the extra parts or the repair is going to cost. I hope that it doesn't break so frequently like on the Switch. I heard that you can run Windows on this pretty easily. I kind of want this as a high-end emulator console. It looks like you'll, you'll get more CPU and RAM compared to the PlayStation 4 and the graphic, boards, uh, graphic board is lower than the PlayStation 4 but the architecture is newer so I think it'll be better. I think the negatives on this are the weight of the console and the battery lasting a minimum of 2 hours. This is going to be the next switch. I now realize that the Xbox is really unnecessary. I thought that the portable gaming consoles or handhelds weren't popular outside of Japan. I think that the resellers will resell this like at $1,000. Are they only releasing like 1,000 units at the beginning? I think this is going to fail just like the Wonder Swan. Oh, so it's pretty popular. I thought that the people overseas didn't really buy handhelds, but maybe it changed with the Switch. Now, the co regular consoles are outdated. I think I'd rather play on a gaming PC. I don't really play outside of the house. If you use an emulator, you can play all the Switch games for free, and you can even play PlayStation 4 games. It's a very powerful handheld console. I want this too. If I have this, I don't need the Switch. So compared to the last trash that they de they released, I guess you can put in whatever OS you want. I think this will be trouble for PlayStation 5. I think they're copying the Switch features too much. I really realize now that the Nintendo consoles are the most advanced consoles in the world. I think if I have this and the Switch, I don't need anything else. Oh, so this is going to be a exclusive console for mining. I think I'd rather have this than the Chinese made uh, portable PC. I really want this. You can even play like uh, censored games that's on PlayStation on Steam without the censoring. You can kind of trade that off with uh, lower graphics but whatever. The price is pretty nice. It's really hard to set up a gaming PC with all the accessories. It's kind of tedious so I didn't try. If I had this, it's pretty convenient. Resellers are going to have a field day on this. I think that the adults will get this and the Switch has is going to be a toy for just kids. Why is it so heavy being a handheld? I'm sure that it'll sell pretty well all over the world. Of course, at least outside of Japan it'll sell. Yeah, overall, I think that most people are pretty positive, has a positive attitude towards the Steam Deck. And from what I saw, I mean, I saw the announcement and the, I read the specs and everything. It looks like it's a pretty cool handheld. It's just that it doesn't look very comfortable. And I don't know, uh, the button placement is very strange. It's like, 
I don't know, everything is up here. And I just, I mean, it's pretty cool, but it still makes me think of the Switch, you know, because that came out first. And it's funny because everybody always complain, like, about how Nintendo makes the most dumb thing or dumb consoles ever. But at the same time, everybody, like, all the other companies end up copying the Nintendo's uh, accessories or the hardware. So, or the, even the game sometimes. So, it makes me think, like, one of the comments said that, like, Nintendo is the most advanced or the most, um, like, they're the ones who try out new things first, even with the motion controls, you know, with the Wii, uh, that's, I think they came out with it first for the, you know, general public, so, yeah, it's kind of interesting how everybody's, like, copying Nintendo now, which was to be expected with the huge success of the Switch. For me, I think it would be interesting, but I didn't pre-order it. Like, I didn't even try because I knew it was going to be hard to get. Um, and like I said, or like the comments said, this is not going to be available in Japan. I'm guessing that they have plans to release this around the world later on, but who knows when that will be. Um, yeah, I hope that it becomes available for everybody who wants it because, you know, the resellers, whatever, so... They always have issues with that. And like I said, I didn't pre-order it and I don't plan to get it yet because I really don't play on PC that much. And honestly, I can run all the emulators on my phone now if I wanted to. And also, I can play Game Pass games on the phone. I can remote play my PlayStation 5 games on the phone or even on the tablet. So I really don't see much used to get one because it's like uh, all in one version of what I already have which is convenient but at the same time not necessary especially if I already have the switch and I don't think this will like rob <laughs> switches um, customers or Nintendo's customers because I think most people who buy the switch or who are into the switch know that Nintendo are known for their first party titles and Steam will never get like a Mario game you know on there so if you want to play those games you still need to buy a Switch or whatever <clears throat> sorry whatever console they might release in the future so <clears throat> I don't think it's a huge competition but it's good to see something new from another company because you know it's always been Xbox PlayStation and Nintendo or Microsoft, PlayStation, Sony, and Nintendo. So, yeah, uh, it's good to see Steam uh, trying to make it with a new console. Although the Steam, I forgot, they released some like a box, you know, Steam something, the box that had different specs and they had different sizes and everything. I remember that failed pretty badly, even their controller failed pretty badly. So they haven't been doing well in that sense, but maybe this one will do well because it's kind of different. Um, I mean, it's based on the Switch. I mean, the idea of this thing is based on something that already succeeded, but so hopefully it does uh, well enough to, you know, for them to keep improving on it if they do keep uh, releasing newer models in the later years. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.